Today I'm gonna show you how to make a Bregan's type beat just like this. So the first step is the drums. You need the right sounds. Recently, Breakins posted this website called glitch.cool, and he says he uses a lot of their glitch sounds. If you haven't copped this already, you definitely need to check out the Glitch with Friends Volume 3, Volume 2, and Volume 1. Just using these sounds alone will help get you closer to that Breakin sound. I also actually get the exact technique that he talks about. What he does is just put all these different sounds in a drum rack and then set the choke to the same. So none of them can kind of like overlap. They all go like individually, you know, and then you can kind of go in and edit the sounds if you want to transfer pose them. Sound selection and the pattern you make here is really key. This is the pattern that I came up with. And then for the beginning, I put on this plugin called Infiltrator, which is also a major plug for these kind of glitch break-ins type sounds. I'm gonna use that a lot in this tutorial. It does so much cool stuff you'll see later. We got that for the percussion, and then I put on a separate drum rack, the snare and the kick. And then just like a hat, and this is what it sounds like. Super simple, all the movement is coming from the percussion. Then another cool thing to do is put halftime on this kind of stuff. And so that's what I did for an intro. It's also really good for an outro as well. Something else cool you can do is just take a random perk loop or already glitched out sound and then put this infiltrator plugin on it. I already did that for this sound, which is actually a perk loop from a kit in the bio, completely free if you wanna check it out. Uh, this is what it sounds like dry. Let's say we wanted to mess it up even more. Bust out infiltrator. You can go, they have a lot of different glitch options. Maybe glitch extreme. Woo! See, like you see, like you're just getting some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right off the bat, like you're getting that kind of break-ins type sound. Next, you need some sort of melody in the guitar. And so for this, I just went straight to the source. This guy, I don't know actually how to pronounce it. I think it's Wyotis. The dude actually did a lot of the guitar on Breakins' album, also is on tour with him. And so I just pulled a guitar from his TikTok. And then it gets bigger for the hook. Did a little glitch part right before the drop, and that's just this infiltrator on the master actually using this erratic preset from Beat Repeat. You kind of see how it like glitched. And there are actually a lot of cool things you can do with these kind of guitar parts. So this is what just the guitar and the drums sound like. But you know break is he can't just like stay on the same thing for a while and so we did this like weird ethereal type breakdown that sounds like this and so really i just took this guitar right here and so what we did to get that breakdown sound is took this guitar once again used this ambient Broken Siren Infiltrator kind of preset. Little EQ taking out the lows. Yeah, it just makes it sound super cool, like ambient. And then we got another layer. This is a really cool trick that Breakins actually also mentioned in that Reddit forum. I just stacked on infiltrators. Like there's no really rhyme or reason. It's really just like controlled experimentation, you know? But the thing that Breakins mentioned on the Reddit is this vocoder trick. If you take your vocoder, put it on modulator, make the bands 40, turn the attack and release down, you get these really like watery type sounds that he likes to use a lot. And so I'm kind of just automating the volume so it comes like in and out. To transition into the next part, I kind of just turned this ending of the guitar into a glitch type sound. Check it out. And that's literally the same guitar, like already, just with this visitations sequenced preset from Infiltrator. As you can tell, I love Infiltrator. Then some other random glitch sounds from that pack earlier. Then we got the bass. And so for the basses, he either likes to use like 808s with OTT and distortion on them or a real bass, or in this case, I just use like a serum kind of saw type thing. Super simple, sub, saw wave. Nothing crazy, but I thought it sounded cool in the mix. So 
I got a little master chain going on, a little OTT. I got this Magma BB tubes plugin, which I've been using a lot recently. Super dope. Little Oxford inflator. Something fun to do to just kind of give your drops or like hooks more impact is to put a utility or any sort of like imaging plugin on there. Go to show automation. What you want to do with this utility plugin is for a certain section of your beat, make it really narrow, like super mono. And then for the next section, you want it to be super or go back to like normal wideness. It gives you just this kind of like cool whipping effect. Check it out. You can kind of tell when it hits, it just instantly goes to your left and right ear, you know, when it was in the middle. Kind of a cool little trick. To do a quick recap, what you need to make these break type beats, you need Midwest Emo guitars. If you don't have any, check out my free kits in the bio below. Then you need weird, cool, glitchy sounds. Once again, if you don't have any, you already know the deal in the bio below. If you have any more questions on these kind of beats, make sure to let me know in the comments and I'll make a new tutorial kind of updating the techniques. Other than that, keep cooking up. I'll catch you next time. Peace.